Hi everyone, my name is Ernesto Martinez and I'm going to teach you about compound interest and how it can make you a very wealthy person. Now why do you want to become wealthy? Well, it's going to give you financial freedom and it's going to give you a lot of freedom in your life to do things that you want to do. So one thing about becoming financially successful is you got to remember that it's never just one act or one thing that you did right. It's an accumulation of several dozens or hundreds or even thousands of small ch choices that you made along the line that built up and helped you become wealthy, which ultimately will give you the freedom you want to do things you want in your life. Um, I'm going to give you an example. I used to teach an economics class and I used to ask my students, if I were to offer you a job for 30 days working for a penny for the first day, and then I would double it every day, would you take the job? And almost everybody said, no, they don't want a penny because they couldn't do much with a penny, right? But then I told them, what if I told you you could turn that penny into $5.3 million in one month, would you do it? And of course, everybody said they would do it, right? So that's what the power of compounding interest is. Um, I'm going to give you an example in a moment, but first I want to clarify something that we're all going to die at some point, right? So we have a limited lifespan and a limited amount of years of productivity. So sometimes I hear folks saying that they're going to save and then, you know, maybe invest later on in life when they get a little bit older so that they could have something in retirement. But in investing, um, time is your best friend and your enemy because it's your best friend if you invest early so you have the more time possible to grow your investment but if you run out of time and you die then <laughs> there's no benefit right because you can get to spend the money or do what you want to do in your life with it so i'm going to show you this example of how a penny can turn into 5.3 million in one month Okay, so here's the example I used to show my students in class um, of how you make one penny into $5.3 million in one day. You start with a penny on the first day. The second day, you get two. Third day, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, these are pennies. So you're going to divide it by 100. And this will give you 5,368,709 dollars and 12 cents in 30 days. Now this is a extreme example of compounded interest but I just want to show you the miracle and what a difference it is to use compound interest a lot of times folks are thinking they want to put off investments till you know they're 30 or they're 40 or tomorrow or the next week it, it really doesn't work that way in investing because you know humans have a finite time frame for existence we're all gonna die at some point so because we have a limited amount of time on this planet, we have to invest as soon as we can so that that time has, that money has an opportunity to benefit from compounded interest and grow. If you think about when I was going through these numbers, after a week, it was only about $5 um, that that person would have gotten paid for painting the house at a penny a day compounded daily. But at the end of the month, it was 5.3. So if you put that into years, let's say you're talking about a 30-year time frame. If you invest for seven years, well, you're going to have about, let's say you invest $1,000. You're going to have like, I guess it would be about 5,000, let's say. But, you know, in 30 years, you're talking about billions of, probably even trillions of dollars if you were compounding it daily like this, which of course we're not. But, so time is very important in investing. It's probably the most important element. Of course, picking good investments is good. But, you know, the easiest thing to do, in my opinion, is just to get 
an index fund, and the S&P 500, which is averaging around 10% gains over the last 90 years. Um, if you put something in, into an index fund that's deferred like that, you really can't go wrong. You're going to have something um, to retire with when you get older. Thank you again for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please do below. I'm happy to answer them. If you haven't already, please subscribe so I can make more videos for you folks. Thanks again.